is what it is all about, respect. You have to earn it, and it will be earned today in Dover, Delaware. What a way to kick things off this afternoon. And what a way to end this summer, bloody summer tour, Eric, with the exploding cage right here live in Dover, Delaware. Forget about ending a tour. What about ending a career, ending a life? Anything is possible in exploding. Barbed wire cage. Nothing ever like this before in the United States, John. Well, Eric, Ian Rotten thought a lot of trash throughout this summer. And tonight, one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to get his chance, his opportunity at John Zandig in an exploding cage with no interference. Well, I'll tell you what, John, that remains to be seen. I don't know how anybody could get in there if they wanted to without electrocuting themselves. And Ian Rod taking a long time getting into the ring. John, you know when the boss comes out here, he's not going to waste any time saying hello to the people at the ringside. He wants to get in there and beat the crap. I'm the owner and inventor of the IWA Mid-South, Ian Rotten. That's right, Eric, and it's all about respect because Ian Rotten don't respect John Zandig, and John Zandig damn sure don't respect Ian Rotten. Well, I tell you what, John, say what you want about Ian Rotten. I don't like him. I think he's a son of a bitch. I think he's a scumbag. I think he's a pig. But besides that, besides all of those great qualities, John, he did go to the finals of our Tournament of Death last time here in Dover, Delaware against Nick Mondo. So you cannot take that away from him. Oh, look at Robbie Marino getting in his way, Eric. Oh, he wants to talk, Eric. That's very, very <laughs> Think this is a sabotage, John? People can yell, Axel's... That's only going to make him more angry, John. That's only going to yeah, make him more gonna angry at the sound guy, Eric. going to come up here and beat the crap out of our sound guy. He's still alive. No, he might be doing us all a favor. Hey, hey, hey. Ian Ryan waiting patiently, Eric. You think he regrets stepping inside that cage? And his opponent. He will momentarily. This is Zandig! Zandig about, about to make his way to ringside of John. How huge, how tremendous of a blow with a beat of the morale of everybody here at Combat Zone Wrestling if Zandig was to lose to Ian Ryan on his own home turf. Well, Eric, Zandig has survived this summer, Eric, all by himself. He hasn't had much help. No, he and he's been waiting to get his hands on Ian Rotten, so he says, for a long time, one-on-one, -on -one, with no interference. No, he hasn't, John. As we saw just a couple of weeks ago, when he was blindsided by Ian Rotten, his IWA boys, and of course, our own world heavyweight champion, the Messiah. Yeah, so what's up with that, Eric? Do you have any idea what's going down? What do you mean, do I have any idea? I should be asking you that. You're supposedly well with these guys. Like I told you before, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. I guess I was wrong about Zandig taking his time to get inside of the ring. Maybe it's psychological, who knows? I don't get it right all the time, do I, John? You don't get it right as much as I do, but John Zandig is eyeballing Ian Rotten. He, Ian Rotten's he, waiting patiently inside that cage. This is like a live wake, John, because we're looking at the walking dead idiot rotten. John Zandig is going to get in there, and he is going to rip 
him apart, limb from limb. And there goes the bell. The talking is over, John. And this is what it's all about. This is what everyone's been waiting for, Eric. The exploding cage match. Well, the talking is over, John. It's enough talking between these two, especially Ian Rotten and his IWA boys. He has said a lot. He has a lot tonight, John. He has a lot that he has to back up. A lot of words he has to back up today here in Dover, Delaware. Believe me when I tell you. John Eric, Eric, he's been talking smack. He made it to the finals of the tournament of death. Surprisingly, I didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't think he was going to make it to the finals, but he did. And he's still standing. He's still walking. And now he's right up into the face of John Zanding. Well, I'll tell you what again, John, a lot on the line. It's not always about money. It's not always about championship belts. It is about respect, pride, and integrity. You cannot put a price, a price on any of those three things, John, any of those three qualities. And that means more today to John Zanding and his CZW boys, to Ian Rotten and his IWA Mid-South boys than anything else that you can possibly imagine. There you go, collar and elbow tie-up. And Eric, make no mistake about it, John Zandig does not like Ian Rotten, and Ian Rotten does not like John Zandig. I don't think anybody here in Dover, Delaware could make that mistake, John. Fuck him up, Looks like they're taking their time, feeling each other out. John, you can cut the intensity with a chainsaw right now. It is just so tense here in Dover, Delaware right now, waiting for the first explosion, waiting for the first droplet of blood to fall from the body of either John Zandig or Ian Rotten, ready waiting for the first head, for the first singe, for somebody's hair to singe, somebody's hair to go on fire. Anything could happen, John. We're just sitting here and waiting. And Eric, we got a, we got a steel trash can in there. We got a table set up in one of the corners. And don't forget about the scaffold on top of that cage. How can you forget, John? Remember John Zandy went on top of the scaffold at the cage at that floor with Lobo and with Death Valley Driver off of the top to the floor through another table. Zandig now got rotten in a Side headlock. Zandy with a punch and another. This isn't going to be pretty, John. I would highly doubt you'll see many arm bars in this one, but it is going to be brutal. It is going to be violent. Both Ian and Rotten and John Zandy taking their time. They know that cage is lethal, Eric. They hit the wrong part of that cage and pow, there they go. Well, it's like tiptoeing over a minefield, John. You don't exactly know where the mine is, but you don't want to step on it either. You want to be careful. John Zandig displaying his power, that raw power. There's no matted or padded canvas for these two, John. And that is barbed wire draped across those boards. Look at Ian Rotten, he wants to leave. It looks like he wanted to leave. The canvas and the mat has been taken up, Eric. Those boards are exposed with barbed wire, and he just slammed Ian Rotten down across that, that barbed wire floor. What is Logan wearing? What is with those glasses? What kind of glasses are those? Looks like his Harry Potter gimmick. His Harry Potter gimmick. John Zandig now. Looks like he's going to pair up out here. Oh! Ow! Excuse me! Listen to the fans, John. The fans are going crazy. John Zandig just blew away Ian Rotten. And look, it's on the fire. Cage is on fire. The cage is on fire. That whole contraption can go up in flames, John. And there's nowhere that either John Zandig or Ian Rotten can go. They can't run anywhere. Right into the flames. Uh-oh. But he gonna ramble head first. And again. We've already seen one explosion, John, but it happened twice. So they hit the right spot. A trash can shot right across the head of Zanding. John, there is so much on the line. I mean, if you're Ian Rotten, how do you go home to the IWA Mid-South and look at your fellow, your roster, your boys in the eyes, losing to John Zanding to Dover, Delaware, and the same goes for Zanding. How do you, if you're John Zanding, walk to the locker room and look your boys square in the eye after this matchup with a big loss? Right now, Ian Rotten working over John Zanding. John Zanding's in a lot of pain, Eric. He hit that fire. 
Well, I'll tell you what, John, the thing that should be noted is there are no second chances. This is it. There's not going to be a level match. We already saw the once in a time playing death match, and Ian Rotten has a win over John Zanding. As much as it disgusts me to say, he does. He beat him amidst a lot of controversy, but he does have a win over him. And that can play huge psychologically into the factor of John Zanding. Big close line there by Ian Rotten taking John Zanding right off his feet. Yeah, you know, Eric, once you beat somebody once, it's easy to beat them a second time. And it's even harder if you're John Zanuck. Once you lose to somebody the first time, it's a lot harder to beat them another time around. John Zanuck firing back now, trying to battle back. Kicking Ian Rotten right across the face. Slamming that steel trash can right over his head. And John, this is so personal right now between these two. I'd be surprised if either man has even taken a paycheck at this point. It is just all personal right now. Dan Dig busted wide open, blood pumping out his forehead. Way on the way on the forehead of Ian Rotten. And you can smell the smoke from here, John. You can smell the electricity, the fumes, the smoke, all the way up here in our broadcaster's booth. The shirt comes up! Oh no, please put the X on the screen! We got puppies, John! Put the X on the screen! He's got the shirt off of Ian Rotten. He's wrapping it around his fist. His forearm, what's he gonna do here? Uh-oh. Oh no, John. He's gonna light him on fire! He's uh -oh. gonna light him on fire! Bam! What a close line. Looks like he was trying to light, the, light his fist on fire. Uh-oh. He's gonna try again. Oh, uh, he's trying to burn him, Eric. This man is no quitter. <laughs> Brian Logan trying to light that fist. Oh, it's lit. Oh, he's got it. He's on fire, John. He's going to burn him, John. He's going to burn him. He's going to leave permanent score and injury on Ian Rotten. Well, Eric, that, that's what he set out to do, Eric. He wants Ian Rotten to remember this match for the rest of his life. He's got Ian Rotten. Looks like he's going to slam him. Oh, he's dragging oh, him across that barbed wire floor. He's just chopping up that back like cheese on a grater. Disgusting. And I love every minute of it. Into the canvas. Both men a bloody mess. John, what kind of emotion right now do you think is going through the minds of both Ian Rotten and John Zanding? Do you want to end this match early? Do you want to end it and walk to the back with a W? Oh. Or do you just want to take the chance and inflict as much punishment on your opponent? Oh. It's possible. He just speared already into that explosive part of the cage. They're out of their minds, these two. Right in their damn mind. But this is what it's come to. All the trash talking. I'll tell you, those, idiots, the those idiots spent the last 12, the last, uh, what is it, year and a half looking for weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. All you're going to do is come to Dover and Delaware and find them. Look at the flames over there. Them flames are flaming. It's a dangerous situation right now. Uh -oh. That boss is going to be full oh. of fire. We have a boss on fire right now. You can smell the flesh. You sure can. Both men probably wishing at this point they'd ever enter that cage. That, 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 that this match never taken place. The smell of rotting flesh and thin skin, John, is just all over Dover Delaware right now. You can smell all the way down Route 1 going towards Philadelphia. And that's twice now John Van Diggs hit those flames, Eric. His back must be, must be burning at this point. Ian Rotten putting out the fire. All of a sudden, he's a fireman in there. It's all part of his plan, John. And right now, if you're Ian Rotten, do you end the match? Do you end the match because it looks like he very well could do that? Or do you take this opportunity and inflict more punishment into John Zanding? All right, I don't know how much more punishment John Zanding or Ian Rotten can take at this point. John Zanding now grinding the forehead, the face. Right into the side of that steel cage, which is wrapped in barbed wire. Razor sharp barbed wire, John. Razor sharp barbed wire. <laughs> John Zandig now trying to get the blood out from in front of his face. And I'll tell you what, John, not only are the fans here watching this so intuitively, so are the boys in the back. So are the IWA Mid-South boys. John There's Zandig. a lot on the line. Zandig now punishing Ian Rotten. Just grinding his face right into that steel cage. What a way to start off the show, John. What a way to kick it off. Get on the scaffold. 
but with a both a bloody mess. I mean, Ian Ryan looks like a bloody pig. John Zanding now rubbing the arm, just grading the arm. On top of that, raise a sharp barbed wire. These two guys, sadomasochistic pigs right now. You are looking at here in Dover, Delaware. John Zanding punishing Ian Rotten. Listen to Ian Rotten screaming, screaming in pain. Good, scream louder. Scream like, scream the same way that John Zanding's wife was screaming when she was held captive in the middle of the ring by Ian Rotten and the rest of those IWA Mid-South thugs. And John Zanding's what were you thinking? Back, Derek. He's been waiting for this matchup. This man walked into this man walked into John Zanding's house, stole food off of his table, and attacked his family. That is how deep the wounds run as far as John Zanding is concerned. Well, number one, John Zanding should have just left his wife at home cooking, doing laundry, cleaning the house. That's where she should have been. That's she enough. had no business being in the ring. This company, he can bring wherever he wants to. Uh-oh. John Zanding grabbed that mop. Eric, it looks like he's going to set it on fire. I'll tell you what, John, this is a pyromaniac dream here today. In Dover, Delaware. Both men now trying to set up their own weapons. I'll tell you what, you're talking about two guys uh -oh. with some weapons of mass destruction themselves in their hands. They got a flaming mop, Eric. He's got a flaming mop. Oh, There's the boss. having trouble getting his lit. And look uh -oh. at these two. Anything can happen here, uh -oh. John. Ryan's got the advantage, Eric. All you got to do is take like right John Zanding's mom right over his back. Right over his back. Look at his back smoking. Stop. The cage is smoking. And he's choking him out now with that mop handle. Hey, whatever it takes to get the job done, right? Eric, right, that cage is on fire. Choking John Zanding with that mop handle. This is sick, John. John Zanding battling back, just wraps it right around the back of the neck of Ian Ryan. Yeah, tell me this isn't personal. Uh-oh. John Zanding picks him up. Slams him in the middle of the world on the top of the far wire. I like to see him give him one, give him one of those mother effing bombs under that canvas. Uh-oh. John Zanding now walking over to that table. Looks like he's getting ready to set it up. Ian Ryan in a lot of trouble. Ian Ryan can barely move right now. On all fours like a wounded dog at this point. But this match has gone both men. It's gone the way of both men, John. The psyche of a death match wrestler is just so different than any other kind of a human being. They can withstand so much punishment. A man like Ian Rott and a man like John Zanding, they just have such an incredible threshold of pain, John. That's two low blows there by Ian Rotten. Bat on back. And John Zanding go two times and spiked him with that DDT. And the top of his head right, right into that barbed wire, John. Both men right now in a lot of trouble. It's like torture right now. Being thrown inside of a torture chamber. That's what's going on here. Ian Ryan getting up slowly using those ropes to help try and pull himself up. John Zanding still down on his back. Listen to these maniacs. Cheer them on. It should be noted, John, that we do have an ambulance on call outside of Rex. Just in case we call 911. Just in case. I mean, they're already here. Ian Rotten, where's he going right now? Oh, he's climbing that cage. Ian Rotten's about to pull a super fly on. Oh, we're going to see if pigs can fly. <laughs> Ian Rotten, John Zanden climbing the other side. John Zanden climbing the other side. They're going for the scaffold. It's Shades of Keys at that floor, John. It's Shades of Keys at that floor. And the crowd is on their feet. Zanding now kicking away at Ian Rotten. How sturdy is that table, John? How sturdy is that scaffold contraption? For these two oh, men, we're not talking about light heavyweights in there. And if they fall outside of the cage, John, it's asphalt out there. They are risking death. Remember what Zanding did in the tournament of death when he came off the roof with Mondo, John? And he likes Mondo. Uh oh, John Zanding now picking up Ian Rotten. Well, another effort, Bob. He's got him up. 
I'm on the wall for Bam! 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 Someone call 911! He's gonna cover him! He's going first! He got him! He got him! What a win! What a victory! Thank the Lord! Thank the Lord on that one! I don't know how I would have been able to look Ian Rotten in the eye if he was my boss after the show. Now you would have to call him boss for you, whatever! Boss, we lean up for you, you don't gotta do that! We both would have been out of here, and Dave Prezak would have been waiting outside of the building for our job. Who? John, it was about respect. It wasn't even about a W. Uh -oh. Did he earn it? He may uh -oh. finish the job. He may finish the job. Look at Ian Rotten running. Ian Ryan's taking off, Eric. I don't blame him. He don't want no more John Sanders. Do you blame him? He talked all that trash and couldn't get the job done. Nope. You fucking suck. You guys are right. Oh, I think it's time to have a party here in Dover, Delaware, John. John Sanders. This wasn't a stip in the match. But I respect you. He respects him. I never thought I'd heard him say I'd hear him say that, John. I never thought I'd hear those words. Well, he's a beaten man, Eric. He had to humble himself before he get another beat down. I don't hear the same out of Zandig. Well, Eric John Zandig kicked his ass. Looks like he's gonna power back me oh. Oh. oh! Excuse me! Looks like he's gonna power back me a Oh! oh. go. They can't run anywhere. Right into the flames. Uh-oh. Are he going to ramble head first? Yeah. Oh. And inflict as much punishment on your opponent oh. as possible. Oh. He oh. 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 Ryan's got the advantage, Eric. All oh, you gotta do is looks like John Zandig's mom's getting right over his back. Got him up! I'm on the left of Bob! Bam! Who the fuck called 911? I'm on the left of Bob!
This is Zippo. You ever go to Keys on Florida, John? Nope, never. No. Z-Bar doesn't look as, as uh, flamboyant as we're used to seeing him. Wait a minute, what's that shirt say? He's back nuts. I don't know, Eric, but Z-Bar better have his mind focused on this matchup because he's climbing in there with his son of a thousand maniacs, John Bomber. This is their third singles meeting here at CZW history, John. And John Dahmer's a sick man, Eric. He's not in the right frame of mind. Their last singles meeting was also in Delaware, John. And if you remember that match, I think Dahmer dropped Zebra on his head about five times. Mike Keener, the official for this matchup. And his opponent, from Westland, Michigan, weighing in at 242 pounds, led to the ring by CK, Corey Castle. This is John. Here comes John Dahmer, charging the ring like a, a son of a thousand maniacs. And Eric, it was about 25 years ago when the maniacs ran train on Mr. Right. Dahmer and bam, right. what we got? Enough. We got a psychopath. Enough. How about Mike Keener? He's not intimidated by John Dahmer. No, Mike Keener needs to be investigated after his last, uh, after his debut here at CZW when he interjected himself in the Backseat Boys matchup with his acrobatics. <laughs> Z-Bar and John Dahmer, again, this is their third ever meeting here in CZW history. And you know what, Z-Bar, each time out, John, he gets a little bit better, and one of these times, he's gonna pull it off. I'm trying to figure out the relationship here between Corey Castle and John Dahmer. John Dahmer's a sick man, and Corey Castle appears to me to be like the All-American boy with a dream to be a professional wrestler. Well, John, I think that would describe a lot of wrestling fans today. John Dahmer is the teacher. Corey Castle, oh, look at that, a version of the Mahistro Cradle Warlock. Z-Bar going for that victory real early on in this matchup. That would be a Mahistro Cradle Warlock, John. So who's counting? But John, you know, how can you question the relationship? I mean, he's the teacher, Corey Castle is the student. I mean, Eric, Bar, Bar went for that roll for that pinfall. I didn't think he, I don't think he like thought that he would get the pinfall, but that was just to let John Dahmer know that he was gonna take that victory whenever he can get it. Well, I'll tell you something. If you're z Bar, John, that's the way to do it. You go for the win early, you go to the, for the win when you can. No need to showboat, no need to showcase yourself. It's all about a W. It's not how you got there. It's about if and when. It's about if you got there, not how you got there. It was a Part big power me. slam by Bar there. Now he's slugging away on John Dahmer in that corner. z Bar is shooting at John Dahmer. Of course, John, the last time out here in Dover, Delaware, we saw z Bar uh -oh. come out and answer boom, oh. suplex. We saw Z-Bar come out here and answer an open challenge to Trent Acid. Remember that matchup? What a big mistake that was. I think Z-Bar's nose was purple for about a week after that matchup. That Yakuza kick. John Dahmer now stalking the Z-Bar, setting him up, big shoulder tackle there. Z-Bar, of course, broke away from Rebel's Army a few months ago and hasn't really been too successful since then, but has shown us quite a bit since that time as far as effort goes. Big standing drop kick there by Dahmer, goes for a cover. Got a two count. Z-Bar right now, John, not looking too good. Z-Bar, again, this is the first time in his CZW career that he is truly out on his own, John. It really is. I mean, well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna count the beginning when he used to walk around here with that goofy mask on. I'm talking about over the last two years or so. I mean, Eric, John Dahmer, Z-Bar's gotta be careful because John Dahmer's a sick man. And John Dahmer's a very experienced man with a spine buster. And he just planted them with that spine buster, and Z-Bar looks out. Well, you know what, John Dahmer is a very experienced wrestler. He is the first, he is a co-holder of the first ever tag team championship team here in CZW. John Dahmer's not a guy you want to take too lightly. John Dahmer now climbing upstairs. Uh-oh. He's going for a high five. Why is he giving him a high five at this point in the match? It makes no sense. He's giving him support, Eric. Wait a minute, he just shook the top rope and crunched him. Did you see what he just did? Eric, I it appeared to me that Corey Castle made a mistake when he hopped off that at ring apron. Wait a minute, one, two, three. He got him! He got him! Are you kidding me? He's just a surprise to see him! He finally wins one! 
No donkey punch, no front. I can't believe it. Corey Castle made a mistake, Eric. John Diamond made the mistake of bringing Corey Castle to the ring with the poor guy. Corey Castle made a big mistake. He didn't realize he did it either. And Diamond from behind with a big knee lift. Uh-oh, here we go. It's not over. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, not this. So Bam! Bam! The media. One more time. Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute, Dahmer. Come on. The kid made a mistake. He deserves it. He calls him a passion. He calls him a matchup. Show some compassion for your He calls him a matchup. Why would he be a student, Eric? He's one of his students. They're going to make mistakes. Oh, yeah, bring him to the ring side then. He's not too happy about this one. That makes Z-Bar about two and three hundred here at CZW, John. Z-Bar, very impressive victory there over, over John Dahmer. momentarily will make his way to the ring, John, to challenge for his first ever title here in Combat Zone Wrestling and quite possibly his career. And Eric Derek Frazier has been waiting a long time for his chance and his shot against Ruckus and that junior heavyweight championship. That doesn't look like Derek Frazier. Here he comes. Derek Frazier looks like he's put on some weight. Oh, look at that, John. It looks like he's pulling about 15 pounds. Let me know. Right. Well, he's been waiting around for months to get his shot at the Junior Heavyweight Championship. He's been in the gym. He's been doing his sit-ups. He's been pumping iron, waiting for his shot. And tonight, he finally gets his chance against Rocket. Rocket Rebels put him through boot camp, huh, John? And his opponent. Champ, and have to make his way to the ring. He has fought many obstacles since becoming champion. He is quite soon, he is quite arguably, John, on his way to the guy. Look at that shirt. I love that shirt. I hate that shirt. That's the worst shirt I've ever seen anyone wear in, the, in my entire existence of life. John Chris Cash, Sunjay Dutt, B Boy. He is beating them all, John. The junior heavyweight champion has beaten them all. Yeah, well, he hasn't beaten Derek Frazier. Frazier's been waiting a long time for his chance against Ruckus. Ruckus is going through all of them, John. And this could be a big night for Rebels Army, Eric, because they're going to get their chance later on and a shot at the World Tag Team titles. Nobody thought, John. Not many people thought that Ruckus had a shot. Ruckus walked into the ring with B-Boy as an underdog, John. Do you believe it? As an underdog that night and put the undefeated streak of B-Boy to a quick end. Ruckus ought to be slapped across his face for wearing that T-shirt. Why don't you go up there and do that? Oh, I would. But right now I'm busy. I got to carry you. And, John, quite a bit of history here. For those of you that remember, or maybe don't, Derek Frazier made his debut in Combat Zone Wrestling at High Stakes Wrestling Ruckus that night. Remember Lobo brought him in as a possible entrance to the upcoming Best of the Best 2002 tournament, and he tried to put him in the way of Ruckus as an obstacle. Of course, Ruckus beat him. Derek Frazier there goes for a lot of press, gets a two count. Ducking that spin kick. Couple of kicks there. Kick and a miss, no. Tip up. Oh, John, this one's going to be real hot. You can tell already. Uh-oh. Couple of elbows to the back of the head. Down, sunset flip. No. Back. Nope. There's going to go for backside. Five minutes, carry takeover. Into a bridge. Covered by Derek Frazier. And, John, this could be a big, big night for Rock and Rebel and Rebel's Army. Rock and Rebel has an opportunity tonight to walk away with two of Combat Zone Wrestling's heavyweight championship belts. 
Tried the junior heavyweight championship on the line right now. Ruckus and Derek Fraser. And then later on tonight, they're going to get their chance at the backseat, boys, in the World Tag Team titles. It's put up or shut up night for Rebels Army, isn't it, John? Collar and elbow tie up there. Go behind. And another go behind. Waist lock by Ruckus. Picks him up. Look at Derek Fraser, how he blocked it. Derek Fraser with a big kick. Big roundhouse. He caught him with that roundhouse. Staggers Ruckus now into that corner. I'll tell you what, if you want to caught him in that eye, John, he can give him a mouse over the eye. Well, that would be so terrible. How would Ruckus see all that food on the... On his table oh, no. home in one eye. How about those chow on my back? Oh, he's working over Ruckus now. He's got to take it to Ruckus. Big right hand by Derek Frazier. Ruckus the reverse kick. Nope. Oh, that'll do it, John. Ruckus out of nowhere. I don't even know what to call that. I'll tell you what, John. Ruckus has been quite has been on quite a streak here in combat zone wrestling, John. He has not been defeated all year, John. He has been win He has been, he has not lost to anybody this year. Uh oh. In a singles match, that is. Ruckus up on his feet. Ruckus hits the ropes. Ruckus with a handspring. Oh! Look at that corkscrew. And he caught him with an ankle. He's going for a cover. A Hook that leg. Going. He got a one. He got a two. Not enough. And I'll tell you what, John. Ruckus proved just a few weeks ago that he is truly the real deal with his win over B-Boy. That was a huge, huge win. Eric, he stole that victory. What are you talking I about? I saw that same match. You said, uh-oh. Ruckus got a submission hole slapped on the center of that ring. He's got him buttered. There are no ropes there, Eric. He's got a butterfly and he's Eric Fraser's is going to have to come up with a counter or somehow try to power out of this maneuver. How can he even tap? And Ruckus has to worry about his own shoulders being pinned to the ground in that kind of a move. I look at John Ruckus even has some fans with their shirts off. Painted Ruckus. Yeah, you know, and they're all in a lot better shape than Ruckus. I would argue that, John. Derek Fraser with a big kick. Ruckus goes underneath. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, Derek Fraser with the reverse. He counted that one right there in midair, driving Ruckus' head right down to that canvas. Derek Fraser went for the reverse, and he nails it. Ruckus looked like he was going for that chronic. Ruckus right now in a lot of trouble. Derek Fraser still down on that mat. And this is a big, big matchup for Derek Fraser. Derek Fraser, John, is the kind of contender, the kind of challenger, if you're at Ruckus, you have to worry about. Because sure, you take somebody like a Sanjay Dutt or a B-Boy very seriously, but a guy like Derek Fraser, who you beat in his first matchup here in CZW, he's the kind of guy you can overlook real easy. Ruckus now with that roundhouse kick right into the side of the head there of Derek, of Derek Fraser. And John, you can still, you can still smell rotted flesh in the air for that barbed wire cage match. And Derek Fraser holds on to that sleeper. Is that what that is? Got him in a sleeper hold. I thought that was you. That's real funny. Derek Fraser has him in a sleeper hold, has those legs trying He's to wrap his around. He's in there, but Ruckus with great presence of mind there. Great ring awareness there. Driving the back of Derek Fraser into that top turnbuckle. Right on the knee, drops him on the knee. Has him in a dragon sleeper. Frazier now fighting back with those big knees to the forehead there. And John, you have to know that Rocket Rebel is watching this match intently somewhere here in Dover, Delaware. And you know he is going to be here to back up Derek Frazier if he needs it. What kind of plan will the Rocket Rebel have to walk away with two titles here this afternoon in Dover, Delaware? What a big day it would be if the Rebel walked out of here with the junior heavyweight title and the world tag team titles. Derek Frazier on one knee. Derek Frazier up. Derek Frazier could possibly be the breakout star of 2003 here at CZW, John. He has earned this shot. He has earned this shot. A big win just a few weeks ago over Chris Cash and Nick Burke. Go to this title match. The skipping dog bag. Underneath. Oh, we got one. Two skipping dog bags. Another. Oh, underneath man. again. Derek Frazier got beat. He got three skipping dog bags. He got triple. Ruckus chops him in the back. Takes a page right out of the book of Derek Frazier. Shoots him into the loop. Frazier. Underneath. You have to wonder if Derek Frazier's going to go for that stuff that he usually does. John, oh, Derek Frazier's got to be crazy. He's never going to get him up for a power bomb. And Derek Frazier looks like he nailed Ruckus with a pile driver on that one there. Ruckus now a lot of trouble. He must feel that championship slipping away. Well, again, John, Derek Frazier is the type of challenger you really got to worry about. He is the type of challenger you can easily overlook 
when you want to compare challengers to a guy like Sanjay Dutt and of course B-Boy. Right now, Derek Frazier's in, he's in control of Ruckus. Derek Frazier with a big right hand and another by Ruckus. And a big kick, big roundhouse kick. Right to the face, right to the chin. Oh. Ruckus responds with a roundhouse of his own. Oh, Ruckus can kick too, we've seen him do it before. Ruckus shoots in Derek Frazier. Frazier nails him with a reverse bulldog. Throw the back of his head right down to the canvas. Derek Frazier hit that reverse bulldog out of nowhere. And Frazier, this is a big, big day for Derek Frazier. It took him a long time, John, over one year to earn this title shot. And he's gonna give it everything that he has in that sum. But John Van Dyke held him back for a year, Eric. So he can't hold him back no more. And Zagori, looks like a step up and Zagori by Derek Frazier. And he nailed Ruckus with it. Derek Frazier is just absolutely tremendous as of late. The kick, he calls that the kick. Oh, he follows him out, John. Derek Frazier now calling for a tear, looks like. He's got it. John, we talked about it earlier. Oh, he don't want that one. John, we, we talked about it earlier in the match previous. It's so hard to beat somebody, especially when you have lost to them before because it plays such a psyche. It plays so much in the mental, mental game of yourself and your opponent. It's even that much harder to beat somebody when you've already lost to them. Derek Frazier, looks like he's, he's gonna drop Ruckus right on uh -oh. his head. Oh, oh no. no. Ruckus going for a vertebra breaker. Derek Frazier goes underneath. Oh, he's gonna oh, oh, right on that steel chair. EDT. And the inexperience of Derek Frazier coming into play because you can't pin the champion outside of the ring. He needs to pick him up and roll him, pull him inside of the ring and go for a three oh, count. Man. And that's dead weight. Derek Frazier picks him up, rolls him inside of the ring. Derek Frazier's got to stay on top of him, Eric. He can't let Ruckus, he, he can't give Ruckus too much time. Ruckus is 0-2 this summer in Dover, Delaware. Oh, he missed that, he missed that splash. The big frog splash, he missed, but those were tag matches. This is our first singles match. I wish we get to see Ruckus uh -oh. here in Dover, Delaware. The crowd it, the crowd it. And he nailed him with a head first on that two, one, two, one, two, he got him. Three, it's over. He got him. CZW Junior Heavyweight Champion, Ruckus! What a win by Ruckus, and what an effort out of Derek Frazier. Derek Frazier came so close to becoming the new champion. Derek Frazier has made so much progress over the last several months here at CZW. I'll tell you what, John, look after that kid in best of the best 2004. Poor Derek Frazier, he might have to wait another year to get another shot at the championship in CZW. Well, if he's got Rebel negotiating his contract, that is very likely. And John, in a rare moment, the champions make their way first to the ring tonight here in Dover, Delaware. Johnny Cashmere and Trent Acid, who have been very successful this summer in Dover, Delaware. With our first show, the Extreme Eight here, as part of the Summer Bloody Summer Tour, they were victorious over the team of Ruckus and Sanjay Dutt last month. They were victorious in a pair of singles matches. Today, it's two teams. They are so confident they can beat any team. They said, we'll be two. And not only are they the tag team teams, but they're the most successful tag team of all time here in CZW. And John, what, what is with Dewey? Look at him, he's not even wearing a shirt anymore. What do they think he's a chipping deal? Oh, he's, he's, he's getting in shape. He's getting in He's tired of people putting their hands on him during these matches. He's a follower, John. He's a follower, that's why. The best people are going to show us how you kill two birds 
We're one stone here tonight. You know, instead of spending time in the gym and trying to look like the backseat boys, you should be busy at home watching videotape, negotiating contracts, maybe that's how we got them into this jam. Wrestling two tag team today in Dover, Delaware. The Rebels Army's been waiting a long time to get a shot at the World Tag Team titles. Ian Knox and Adam Flash, in my opinion, opinion Eric, don't even deserve to be in the same ring with the backseat boys. And she just give them a 50? And the backseat boys making their way around ringside. And today, Rockin' Rebel and Greg Matthews. Look at their first title opportunity as a team. This Greg Matthews' first title shot here in CZW, John. And I'm telling you right now, Eric, I've been watching Rebels on me. I've been watching Greg Matthews. You don't watch anybody around here. Rebel, Eric. Who are you and kidding? there is one team that the Backstreet Boys cannot underestimate is Rebels Army. Rebel brings the experience, and Greg Matthews brings the youth in there, Eric. And they're pretty big guys. They're very strong and powerful guys. Something that the Backstreet Boys have overcome in the past when they defeated the Hay Club for the World Tag Team Play. Well, Rebel and Matthews, I'll tell you this, John, they have accumulated quite a few victories as of late here at CCW. Granted, they've been over Z-Bar and the Tough Enough Group, and whatever partner he decides to bring to the ring with them that night, but they have been victorious as of late here at CCW. It's put up a shut-up time for them. So the Army is already 0-1 tonight. Our opponents. Which would be interesting, John, is to see how Ian Knox and Adam Flash go into tonight's matchup. And again, John, Greg Matthews of Rock and Rebel will make their way momentarily to the ring. This the first title opportunity. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here, John? Uh, Looks like the backseats are there counting their money, Eric. How much do you think they made tonight? Two, three, four hundred. And of course, John, we saw it just a couple of weeks ago. All right, Eric, be quiet. Johnny Cashmere wants to talk. Oh, well, let's just stop everything. Yes, please do. Of course, unprofessionalism from the sound people. What do you expect? It's CZW. Uh-oh, they're mad. See, the high five consists of five professional athletes. Five. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. Would you really consider one Julie a professional athlete? Professional mind and manager in discount doing Donovan. But the oh. manager and champions, Eric. Well, he didn't call him an athlete. I ain't done. Now. Uh oh. Sounds like the music for Ian Knox and. Always trashed out of flash. Eric, the back seats are getting mad. Eric. Now, now they're mad. And here comes Simply Luscious accompanying them. She could be the X Factor here today. Simply Luscious at a total combined weight of nine and a half kegs. This is Double Shot in Knots and Always Trashed at a I think they're celebrating prematurely, John. They're already having a pre- a post-match celebration before the matchup. I mean, that's the problem with this team, Eric. They're always out getting smashed, always drinking, always partying. Tonight, they have a chance to become the World Tag Team Champions, and they're too busy getting trash before the match. They were so close, John. Hey, don't you scumbags be giving her any of our money. That's our stuff. Don't give her nothing. What a joke. Yeah, Listen, if any of you give her any of your money, it's going to hurt our feelings. What a bunch of what what her feelings. What a bunch of insecure. What is she? she she's she's going to eat that money. We're going to world tag team team. They're going to hurt our champion feelings. Oh, please. They don't have any feelings. They don't have any feelings. What are you talking about? Johnny Cashmere put that poor woman in a full Nelson a couple of weeks ago. He tried to break her neck. She's eating money out there. Just to get anything in her mouth, John. 
Anything? And John, their matchup was so intense just a few weeks ago with the Backstreet Boys. They came so close, but they came up short, Eric. They sure did. But Ian Knox popped his championship match cherry that night. Be his first, his first challenge of a championship. Maybe he's over those butterflies. They got a pig. He's sodomizing a pig out there, for God's sake. Listen, the backseat boys are the only ones that get money. That's our idea. They're stealing their gimmick, Eric. Listen, they're going to get sued. They're going to hear from the high fives lions. Hey, if you keep giving her money, she's going to make more than us. I think that's the idea. I think that's the idea. Uh, they're going to hear from their lawyers Monday morning. Of course, we've yet to see the army. How much money do you think? How much money do you think the army's going to get when they come out here? Oh uh, no, but simply, simply Lux is going to break these fans. I'll give Rebel twenty dollars. Now they only make about a dollar fifty a piece for our events anyway. They just spent their weekly paycheck. The Backseat Boys on a tizzy about everybody giving Simply Luscious their money. money. That's their money. the ringside. You have Luscious, Adam Flash, and Ian Knox drinking themselves to death out here. And you have Rebel and Greg Matthews who actually look like they've come here to work tonight. They've come with their game faces on, and they look very confident. Like I said, shut up. I'm not done. He's not done, Eric, so shut up. Amen to that. And that is why we are the CZW Tag Team Champions. Now, as far as the Rebels Army goes, I mean, you guys are a decent tag team working your way up the ranks. But let's face it, you guys are wrestling boring and uh, tough enough people. Why should you guys get a shot at our prestigious titles? Well, he's got a point and there. As for you guys, we beat you last month. In case you idiots weren't watching, we won again. He's got Thank another point much. there. Listen, somebody give this baby a bottle and a diaper. Now, What's he crying for? I think that Johnny, myself, and Mr. Dewey Donovan deserve a night off. I think that you two teams need to find each other to get a shot at us. We have no business in this match. We should be sitting in the front row like these idiots watching that rat's ass. Did he just <laughs> That was funny. He just called. Hold on a, a second, rat. brother. First of all, before we get into the rat business, you guys are the champs. You guys can definitely have a night off. But I will say something. She's not a rat. I'll tell you who's a rat. Uh-oh. That blonde pig right there named Stacy. Ha <laughs> ha! That was pointing people out by name around here. See, where I come from, we have pigs with four legs. I give you sausage, bacon, and scrapple. But pigs like that, she'll swallow anything you give her. <laughs> now, now, hold on a second. Hold this, I got something to say. Uh-oh. Oh, he can read, too. Now let's go through the list of guys she's done. Doomsday Danny Rose. <laughs> what would do Dude. him? Jules Strongbull. <laughs> Ian Knox. <laughs> Frank Talent. Frank Talent? I didn't think he swung that way. Is he circumcised because he's Jewish? <laughs> uh, Joe Frazier? Joe Frazier. Conquistador number one. <laughs> Romeo Valentino. Who? Backseat boy impersonators. Bobo Brazil. 
<laughs> and Mr. Hallmark moment, Messiah. And Mr. Adam Flash, Bill Clinton. Hey, he was drunk. Give him a break. I did not have sexual relationships with that woman. <laughs> And that's the most he's ever said in TPW. Did she swallow? Yes, she did. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we have to point out Ian Knox. He was so drunk, he got one of those whiskey dicks. What is this, a road? <laughs> Ian Knox now flash wasted no time taking it out of the army. Big clothesline there by Greg Mann. Oh, look at the Backstreet Boys. They've taken a seat at ringside. They've taken the night off, Eric. Rock and Rebel and Greg Matthews. Well, I guess I, I, I was proven wrong, John. I thought they came out here to work. Obviously, I was incorrect. Big double suplex there by the Army on the Adam Flash. Rebel came out here to roast the fans. Trent has it now on the outside, Clobber and Ian Knox. Rebel eyes are off that second turnbuckle. They're picking up where they left off just a few weeks ago, John. Adam Flash and Rock and Rebel, the two most experienced wrestlers in this matchup. Out of Flash, a former member of Rebel's Army. Uh-oh. Matthews, that big leg. What a horse, Greg Matthews is. Continuity there by Rebel's Army. And Ian Knox, outside the ring, cannot help his partner. He had double teamed by the backseat, boys. Uh-oh. Out of Flash, take them out. Out of Flash, a former Iron Man champion. Out of Flash, up top. Oh, oh. Sato Suicida. And Adam Flash looks possessed at this point, John. Taking out the backseat boys on the outside. Rebel now working over Cashmere. Takes Trent Acid, dumps it back in the ring to Greg Matthews. Greg Matthews with the right hand. Greg Matthews with the obvious weight and strength advantage over Trent Acid and Johnny Cashmere. Trent Acid fighting back, shoots him in. No reversal there by Greg Matthews. Puts on the ropes. Total wall. Total wall side slam. Puts that leg. We got a two count. Total wall sidewalk slam. Pardon me. Big right hand out of Greg Matthews. And Greg Matthews has the right idea, Johnny. Goes for the pin right away. It is a title match after all. I mean, come on, Eric Bryan. Look, that's to regain some more of the backseat boys. Supposed to have the night over. He just spiked Greg Matthews with that DDT. And right now, Simply Lush is taking shots at Johnny Cashmere at a ringside. Remember, Cashmere did put her in the unbreakable full Nelson a few weeks ago. Almost snapped almost snapping in half. Uh-oh. Matthews and Rebel using their power advantage in this matchup. Rebel catching Trent Acid there in midair. Slam him down one for that cover. Cashmere broke it up. Cashmere the lead uh -oh. five. Rebel with the power slam. Rebel goes for the cover. The power of Rock and Rebel caught Johnny Cashmere in midair before driving him down onto that canvas. Adam Flash takes Rebel face first. Again, Adam Flash, a former member of Rebel's Army. He enough. And then with Johnny Cashmere. Working over Cashmere in that corner, Eric, putting the boots to him. Picking up where he left off at Aftermath. Uh oh. Out of Flash. Oh, he went low. Version of the Manhattan Drive. He should be disqualified. And another. Out of Flash. The arm breaker drops him into a neck breaker. Now kicking Matthews out of that ring. He knocks over in that corner. He's in a lot of pain. Big right hand, holding his left shoulder. Oh, we're going for the dream sequence. Oh, this is patented, there is trademark. Boston Crab, the Comic Atomic. Bam! Right to the face. You would be nice if Brian Logan gets some order in there. Oh, wait a minute. And that's with a four-way slam. Four-way slam. Johnny Cashmere oh, goes downtown. Blocked by Ian Knox. Cashmere again. Great presence of mind there by Cashmere. Tremendous move by Cashmere. Cashmere going for a cradle breaker. Oh, Ian Knox should be disqualified for that. He's going for the drunken driver. Drunken driver. We're going to have no champions. He's got one. No. What's Dewey doing in there? Double. Yeah, that's right. Dewey Tommy should be disqualified for that. By Logan. He, he, he gets a low blow, Eric. Where's the officiated when we need it? Wait a minute, Logan and Dewey are about to go at it. Knox has him, and he goes down, how to knock. Oh, wait a minute. Look, he's taking off his shirt, boy. Oh, yeah, Dewey's tired of people putting their hands on him. And Simply Lush is going in there. 
Steven up the odds. You got Stephen Rush is like, yeah, I can't do it. He's going to treat her like a man. Unfortunately, we had the wrong manager taking taking their shirt off, John. You in the wrong place. We treat women like men around here. And out of flash, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, a pinfall could mean a title win for Rebels Army. And the backseat boys just realizing that. Trent Acid into the ring. Yakuza kick, Yakuza kick. And he caught him with it, Eric. He sure did. Greg Matthews, he caught Greg Matthews with it. The one for the team gimmick. Oh, they hit this, it's over. Can they get the big Greg Matthews for the team gimmick, they do. Wait a minute, Adam Flash up top. Going for the last call. Last call. Adam Flash, here's the label. Oh, wait a minute. He's got him for two. They got him. Oh, wait a minute. They got him. Do we have no champion? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This was supposed to be their night off. No way. Do we have no champions? Ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners and new season. Oh, they was robbed. Wait a minute, here comes Mike Keener. The backseat boys went. Oh, there we go. He's got the rule book. You know, he's new around here. He's got the rule book, Aaron. He better not enforce the rules. He's new around here. He better, break. He better stay out of this stuff. What a brown noser. And Cole Adam Flash and Ann Knox have won. They have not won the CZW Tag Team titles because the backseat boys were not pinned. He's going to attack Robbie Marino. And wait a minute, Dewey Donovan's got the belt. He's got both of them. He's handing them to the backseat boys. What was that about? Oh, luscious. How dare her put those... Those disgusting hands on Dewey Donovan. What kind of a contract know what is that? Been. What kind of a contract is Dewey Donovan signing for these guys? They were supposed to have the night off anyway. I don't like this one bit, John. We should have we should have new champions right now. Introducing first. He hails from Essex, England, and weighs in at 168 pounds. This is Johnny Storm. Here he comes, John, the wonder kid, Johnny Storm, who made a career for himself one night of best of the best, 2002. But Eric, he's challenging Sunday tonight for the Mid-South Light Heavyweight Championship. What would they do to him over in England if he brought that championship back over there? I don't know, you think the Queen would make him a knight? They might make him in charge of the Queen's stables. Or make him the Queen's court jester. And his opponent. The IWA Mid-South Light Heavyweight Champion, Son Jay Dutt. It took two times, but he beat him. He beat J.C. Bailey, and it's got a turn. Every IWA Mid-South fan's stomach to see one of our boys with their belt around our waist. That's right, he defeated J.C. Bailey in that ladder match and so many times. Sunday has come so close to becoming the CCW Junior Heavyweight Champion. Maybe not by him being the Light Heavyweight Champion of the Mid-South. We'll give him another shot at Rutgers and the CCW Junior Heavyweight title. And I'll tell you what, Sean, he loves it. He loves it. He loves arcing those IWA Mid-South fans by the fact that he holds their title belt. He loves every minute of it. He's not looking forward to going to Kentucky to defend it, but he likes it. And what a matchup this should be. Johnny Storm and Sanjay Dutt. He's a smart man, John. 
He has to defend the belt once every 30 days, so this way he does it in CCW, so he doesn't have to go down to the trailer parks down in Kentucky and defend the belt down there. He's a very smart man. Smart thinking there by Sanjay Dutt. Johnny Storm and Sanjay Dutt. Those to know as it looks like Sanjay may have a slight height advantage. Johnny Storm, right hand or miss. Both ducking those clotheslines. Sanjay Dutt goes downtown. Johnny Storm, what a credible challenger here tonight. And Sanjay regains his balance with the goal behind. Johnny Storm with the goal behind. Looks like he's going for an O'Connor roll up. Sunday with the beat Paso. Satellite heads as or no, lands on his feet. The goal behind. Charmin suplex. Oh no, Storm rolls through. Slide underneath. That bear lands on his feet. Yeah. Hip toss. He lands on his feet again. They won't budge, John. They won't budge. Big counter there to all them moves there. Each time both men landed on their feet like cats. Johnny Storm and Sanjay Dutt hit the ropes. Sanjay with a clothesline. Johnny Storm. Sanjay Dutt looked like he was trying to hang on to the leg. Uh oh, snap suplex there. Snap suplex right out of the book. Of his idol, the Dynamite Kid, Johnny Storm, of the United for Kingdom's cover. finest. He went right for that cover, only got a two count, didn't great behind that leg. Johnny Storm and Sanjay Dutt chopping each other up. A lot of fans here today looking forward to this one, John, as am I. Johnny Storm now throwing those big right hands. Sanjay Dutt goes underneath. Oh, and he plants him. He sits out with that power bomb, John. No. One for a cover and got a two count there. Sanjay able to throw that right shoulder up. It looked like Sanjay Dutt was trying for a Hurricane Rana. Sanjay Dutt scooped up in a body slam. Lands on his feet. Scooped up again. No. Johnny Storm lands on his feet. He just drove Sanjay down to that mat. Goes for another cover. We got a one. We got a two count. Johnny Storm. Rakes the eyes with the boot. Sanjay down on that mat. Johnny Storm with the boots off the second rope. He's got to hook the leg. Another no. two count there. Maybe if he would have hooked that leg, Eric, this match may have been over. I'll tell you what, John. Those IWA, the IWA Mid-South, they'll never see their belt again if Johnny Storm winds up walking away with that title. He'll take it to England with him. Johnny Storm now talking a bunch of trash there to Sanjay Dutt, kicking him in his face. Johnny Storm looks to be the more arrogant of the two, and that says a lot when you're wrestling Sanjay Dutt. Kip up by Johnny Storm. That big drop to drove Sanjay Dutt right to the outside of that ring. Johnny Storm in position. He's up top. Uh -oh. Brings up Johnny Storm with a high cross body. And now is Sanjay driving him right down under that concrete. Oh, it's concrete, John. It's asphalt out there. The only thing that will break their fall is asphalt. Right now, Sanjay Dutt in a lot of trouble. Johnny Storm picking him up, throwing him back into that ring. Sanjay Dutt has got to be feeling that late heavyweight championship slipping, slipping out of his grasp. Johnny Storm goes for the cover. Smart man. He knows he's got to be, he's got to pin him inside of the ring to walk away with that title. He got a two count there. Johnny Storm's got a lot of two counts in this matchup. And each time he went for a cover, he did not hook that leg. Big right hand out of Johnny Storm. Shoots a big reversal out of Sanjay Dutt. He's starting to come alive, John. He's on adrenaline right now. Sanjay right into the knee. Uh -oh. The kill cut cut. He got him. The cover. Not all pressed there by Sanjay. Only a two count. Sanjay can't believe it. He's shaking it off. Sanjay right now, the arm breaking away there, Johnny Storm. Sanjay Dutt with a hurricane rata. He tried for it earlier on, and he spiked him with it. Johnny Storm's momentum took him right out of that ring. Sanjay Dutt with a Hindu press. Springboard Hindu press, John. Taking Johnny Storm off of his feet and down on that asphalt. There is no giving to that ground. I'll tell you what, John. Sanjay Dutt has not had a very successful summer here in Dover, Delaware. He is 0-2, but those were tag team matches. Johnny, Sanjay now throwing Johnny Storm in, goes for another cover. He gets another two count. A best of the best 2003 finalist, John. A current IWA Mid-South Lane heavyweight champion. Such a standout star here in Combat Zone Wrestling.
Uh oh. Johnny Storm, the court wheel. Sends him in. Arm ringer. He's got him. Johnny Storm on top. Good Johnny Storm with a sunset flip type. No. Uh oh, him again. Sanjay Dog rolls through. Rolls through. Again, not enough. This match can go anybody's way, John. Spiderman's carry takeover to a roll up. Uh oh. Roots a fiction roll up. And both men collide, John. They, they both went for the same move at the exact same time. A head on collision. Like two trucks on Interstate 95. And both Sanjay Dutt and Johnny Storm are down on that canvas. And this match could go anybody's way, John. This, exactly what a title match should be about, John. So competitive, so even, these two. Sanjay Dutt now getting up, Johnny Storm slowly getting up to his feet. Sanjay wails away with a big right hand. And Johnny Storm returns with another one. I'll tell you what, you don't want to brawl with Sanjay Dutt. You do not want to brawl with Sanjay. Sanjay Dutt, that clothesline. It's been around here. Wait a minute, go for a total world DDT. And he spiked the wood out. He needs to go for a cover. He sure did make Keener in there. No. Two count. Once again, didn't great by that leg, Eric. Mike Keener, one of the best in the business, John. He's not going to let one get by him. Sanjay Dutt follows through. Johnny Storm. Oh, no. Wait a minute. The wee run. Wait a minute. He's got him. We got a two and a half. Johnny Storm can't believe it. Look at his face of frustration with that rewind Frankensteiner. The frustration on the face of Johnny Storm. He can't believe it. Or as he likes to call it the Stormensteiner. And that was not enough. I can't believe it, John. He took a lot of time following up on Sanjay Dutt. Gave him a lot of time to recoup. Big right hand. Sanjay Dutt lands on his feet. Uh-oh. And Sanjay Dutt, he went downtown. Sanjay drove that elbow into the midsection as he was coming down with that power bomb. McKenna goes in there, not enough. Very competitive matchup this afternoon, John, in Dover, Delaware. This is why Sanjay didn't just hook the trunks. This is everything a title match should be about, John. Shoots him in, Johnny Storm. Got him in for a wheelbarrow suplex. No, turns it into a DDT. He spiked him with a... A DDT of his own, Eric, he's returning the favor. Goes for a cover, hooks the legs, we got one, two. Not enough. Two and a half. Johnny Storm now going for another cover, hooks that leg, another two count. Both men right now, John, look a little bit tired. Looks like it's catching up to them. This fast pace, high impact matchup, catching up with both champion and challenger. Johnny Storm's got to stay on top of Sanjay. He should be kicking away at Sanjay Dutt right now. He's wasting too much time following up on Sanjay. We'll find out. You don't want to play Sanjay on that top rope. Sanjay is deadly on the top rope. He can do a lot from up there, John. Uh-oh. Sanjay shoving off Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm going for it again. Hurricane Rana. Hurricane Rana off he the top. Covered. Sanjay Dutt's in a lot of trouble, Eric. Johnny Storm once again wasting a lot of time before going for a cover. Oh, and agreed. he gets a two count. Agreed. Johnny Storm now looking around, looks a little confused. A headbutt. And another. Your mom still sucks, baby. Johnny Storm looks like he's getting frustrated. Uh, maybe he came into this matchup taking Sanjay Dutt lightly, Eric. Or maybe Sanjay Dutt came into this matchup taking Johnny Storm too lightly. Uh oh. And he sits out. Johnny Storm covers him. Not enough. Sanjay Dutt with enough presence of mind and throws left shoulder up. Before Mike Keener hit that three count. Johnny Storm again made himself a superstar overnight at the best of the best 2002, John. With that flashy matchup with Jody Fleisch in the second round. Returning to CZW after a long absence just a few weeks ago. Sanjay Dutt follows through with a close line. Uh -oh. Sanjay Dutt again on another adrenaline rush. Ryan forearm and another one. Sanjay Dutt places him up top. He's going to go for here. Uh oh, he's going for that Indian summer. Oh. summer. It's an Indian summer for Johnny Storm. He's placing him. Uh oh. The oh. Phoenix oh. Flash. He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. He landed on his feet, Eric. He bounced right back up to his feet. Johnny Storm up top. 
Rewinds for him and Steiner. He's going to pin him. No, he hooks him. Into a cradle. Into a cage. He got him. He got him. He got him. What a matchup. What a matchup. Sun Jay Thought retains the IWA Mid South Light Heavyweight Championship. A tremendous victory for Sun Jay Dutt. Oh, wait a minute, is Sun Jay Dutt going to dance right over him? I think we're going to see the sprinkler, John. I think we're going to see the sprinkler. And we're going to see the bone duster, Eric. Maybe he's going to give us the bone duster. I don't know. Looks like the sprinkler to me. That's the sprinkler, John. He's a dancing fool, and he is the IWA Mid-South Light Heavyweight Champion. Okay, the following contest is a fans bring the weapons match. It is scheduled for one fall. We ask that you fans please move away from the ring for your own safety. the former IWA Mid-South Light Heavyweight Champion, J.C. Bailey. I still have nightmares of that unlucky 13 match back in the Extreme 8 with Tommy Klein. And you know what Eric? I heard he's a teenage heartthrob back at the Pink Farmer's Market back in Kentucky. Where'd you hear that? Oh, I heard from a reliable source from CZWWrestling.com. I did my homework. And of course, Bailey went out in round number one last month in a tournament of death in a light tubes matchup against the winner, Sick Nick Mondo. But I'll tell you what, John, he's got quite a challenge today. Oh, yeah, is he taking on the Necro Butcher, one of his own, and the fans bring the weapons match. Also representing the IWA himself, weighing in at 255 pounds, this is the Necro Butcher. And Eric, it looks like Brian Logan has lost some weight and grew a few inches. Where is he? Oh, you're hysterical. Uh oh, there he is. Looks, I see him. Looks like it looks like Mike Keita burned Brian Logan's Harry Potter glass. Oh, here comes the Necro Butcher. This man means business, Eric. Here he comes, the Necro Butcher, returning to Combat Zone Wrestling. The Necro Butcher is a sick, sick man. I don't like him for what he did to our boss back in the Extreme A, but I'll tell you what, he is one crazy son of a bitch. He's a sick, sick man. He don't care for his own welfare, let alone his opponents. The Necro Butcher made it to round number two last month in our tournament of death, losing to Ian Rotten at round number two. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, he ran. J.C. Belly tried to headbutt him, but when he did, he just fell right to his back. Necro Butcher, I mean, this man feels no pain. In an IWA mid, Mid-South matchup, John, his arm practically came off, and he kept wrestling. He's a maniac. Necro Butcher hitting J.C. Bailey with three headbutts, knocking Bailey out of the ring. Bailey looks like he's running for cover. And I'll tell you what, there may still be some bad blood between him and Ian Rotten for some business dealing in IWA Mid-South. I wonder if Rotten slipped a, a few extra bucks to J.C. Bailey to take him out. J.C. Bailey just smashed the light tube over the stomach of the neck row butcher. And look, he's staying right on top of him, slugging away with those big right hands. And the butcher is fighting back with a chop. He is just so full of courage. It takes a lot of guts. Center of fans bring the weapons matchup, John, because you have no idea what they're going to bring. You ain't lying. Oh, absolutely. We got some sick fans here in CZW. Got a bowling ball in there. It's a crutch. They may need that after this matchup. Looks like it's wrapped in barbed wire. It is wrapped in barbed wire, and he just wrapped it right over the back of J.C. Bailey. J. 
J.C. Bailey crawled around the ring. J.C. Bailey, a hybrid wrestler. He can wrestle those light heavyweight matches, but he, he can also get down and dirty with the hardcore stuff if need be. I mean, he is a former light heavyweight champion. Right now, he's outside there, probably by 125, 130 pounds. But he makes up for that with hard drive. Uh -oh. And he's gonna pull, he's gonna pull himself a strike here. Steer right! Oh, Brock oh. Butcher! Oh. That was a gutter ball. The Butcher, the uh -oh. backdrop. He, he let go, oh no. Oh, he just tried to crush him, Eric. And those balls are heavy, John. They're 16 pound balls! Oh. Right into his rib cage! Right into his stomach! He may have busted ribs after that one. Goes for a two count. He only got a two count, Eric. And J.C. Bailey may have busted ribs. J.C. Bailey out of the floor. J.C. Bailey likes to tell the fans, stitches are for bitches, John. Necro now following Bailey on the outside. Sets him up for a suplex. No, drops him. Drapes him right across them. Them steel guardrails. Grab that light tube, Eric. That rib cage is taking one hell of a beating this afternoon in Dover, Delaware. Necro Butcher smashing that light tube right over the shoulder blades of J.C. Bailey, who is in a lot of pain. And the Necro Butcher, we've talked about it many times, John. You don't need to bench press 500 pounds to be a deathmatch wrestler. It's all mental. These deathmatch wrestlers may not have pretty bodies, but it's all in the head. That's what it's about, John. It's about working out mentally, working the psychology Necro. of being a deathmatch wrestler. Butcher just driving that steel chair into the forehead of Bailey. Now he's raking him. Looks like he got some sort of something there that he's rigging across the back of J.C. Bailey. Well, it was something sharp, that's for sure, John. Oh, uh, and he's carving his stomach with it. What a sick maniac. He got in the pig, Eric. Uh-oh. Oh, he's drinking it. That's rubbing alcohol. He drinks rubbing alcohol and chews light bulbs for breakfast, John. That's breakfast for him. He's drinking a beer. I'll tell you what, any kind of alcohol, he'll drink it. Rubbing wood, brain. Butcher now stalking J.C. Bailey. J.C. Bailey meets him with a boot to the gut and a big headbutt. Looks like Butcher's calling him out for more. Oh, wait a minute. That staggered J.C. Bailey. He goes down there slumming it out on the outside. The traded right hand. They are traded right hands, John. And they are hitting hard. They are hitting hard. It looks like the Butcher won that battle now, picking up J.C. Bailey slowly. Looks like he's going to double back into the ring. That's where all the weapons are, Eric. We got a baseball bat in there wrapped in thumbtacks. We got more crutches wrapped in barbed wire. We got a cheese grater in there. A cheese grater? Uh-oh. He got a cookie sheet. Uh-oh. Well, that'll stop him. And he connected with that one, and that laid out the Butcher flat. On his back on that canvas. What is that? A whipple ball bat with light tubes. Uh oh, JC Bailey now tags. setting it up. JC Bailey, you see the cuts on his back, Eric. How can you miss He's them? got blood pumping out of his back. Uh oh, oh, he just busted that light bulb right over the butcher's forehead. JC Bailey picking up that old butcher by the few strands of hair that he has left. And he has busted open. Uh-oh. He tries to shoot him in. Butcher swings him into a pile drive. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't think he was going to run a power bomb him into that light tube. Bailey. Reverse. Ow! Oh, tube! Ow! Oh, tube! That tube just exploded onto the chest of the Necro Butcher. And look at Bailey. Like a hardcore junkie looking for more. Looking for his next high. Looking for another object. Puts you now, right now, in a lot of pain, pain, Eric. I think he, oh no, Bailey's returning the favor. It's rubbing alcohol. He just dumped it right across his forehead. And that's got a burn. Oh, you got a VCR? That's a VCR, Eric, there it is. Is that a VCR? VCR, VCR. Right into the head. Right into the head. Bailey now looks like he's going for a cover. Hooks that leg. One, two. We got a two and a half there. Mike Keener right in position. Bailey now stomping away at the next row butcher. Big stomp out of J.C. Bailey. Bailey now going outside of that ring. 
Moore only knows what he's going out there for. J.C. Bailey broke into the wrestling business, John, when he was only 17 years old. J.C. Bailey now grabbing that barbed wire ladder. That's a steel ladder wrapped in barbed wire that he's draping across those steel chairs on the outside of the ring. And Necro Butcher now just trying to regain his senses inside of the ring. It looks like he has something in his eye. Maybe that rubbing alcohol went right into his eye. And that burns, Eric. It sure does. Puts you in a lot of trouble. And with neck breaker. Could be blinded in that one eye. Bailey now goes for cover, hooks that leg. We got another two count. J.C. Bailey, trained by the legendary Tracy Smothers. How long have you trained him for these kind of matches, John? Right now, Butcher's in a lot of trouble, Eric. And look at that disgusting contraption. Uh -oh. Them my tubes are wrapped in barbed wire. And like a barbed wire net. And J.C. Bailey now climbing out of that top turnbuckle. He may be setting up that board style gym. Oh! oh no, it's a cannibal senton. A cannibal senton. And the butcher is in a lot of pain, Eric. J.C. Bailey from a wrestling family. His father was a promoter. Necro Butcher, who knows where the hell he came from? And it doesn't really matter at this point, John. Necro Butcher is blind in one eye. Bleeding like a pig out of his forehead. And it's like a party to him. It's like he would a strip joint. Jay the, the butcher now getting up to his knees. J.C. Bailey looks like he's gonna, looks like he's gonna try to climb those turnbuckles, but taking too much time. And a right hand at another, at a headbutt. A headbutt. Climbs over the top. That is how big Necro Butcher is. Uh, Butcher now is going to try to scoop him up. Bailey now fighting back. Shots in there to the rim. He's going to try and slam him on that asphalt, John. I don't know, Bailey's got that ladder set up there across those steel chairs, and that ladder is wrapped in barbed wire. Bailey now fighting back with those big forearms. Way on the way on the Necro Butcher. Oh, look at all these fans, they're sickos. They're right on their feet, John. They're loving every minute of it. J.C. Bailey's got blood pumping out of his back. J.C. Bailey climbing up top, the former IWA Mid-South late heavyweight champion. Necro Butcher with some shots to the rib cage. What a heart, these two wrestlers are showing us here this afternoon in Dover, Delaware, John. Uh-oh. It looks like Butcher's got it locked on. He... Uh-oh. J.C. Bailey trying to fight back, trying to block that superplex. Uh-oh. Now go Butcher, a former IWA Mid-South King of Death Matches tournament winner. Oh! Suplex to the floor! Right He's out of his mind! Right He's out of his mind! He's crazy! He's a crazy son of a bitch! J.C. Bailey now has to reach down deep, follow up by rolling Necro Butcher back into that ring and going for a pinfall cover. There is no give on that floor between them, that floor and their bodies. No give at all. That has, that had to have taken just as much out of J.C. Bailey, Bailey as it did the Necro Butcher. The sad part is, John, I think Necro Butcher loved every minute of it. Look at how sick and disgusting he is. J.C. Bailey now the first one back into that ring. Butcher still down on the outside. And J.C. Bailey, look at that body. Look at that body, John. He is a bloody mess. J.C. Bailey, a bloody mess. Necro Butcher still down on the outside of that ring. J.C. Bailey on one knee. No, now he's sitting on, the, on that bottom rope, trying to regain his senses. Necro Butcher crawling into the ring. Getting up very slowly, Eric. J.C. Bailey measuring his spot with the Yakuza kick. And down goes the Butcher. Oh, and he kicks it up, John. Necro Butcher reached down deep and had enough presence of mind to throw that left shoulder up. How and crazy. this match continues. How crazy do you have to be, John, to kick out of something like that? J.C. Bailey just measuring Necro Butcher. 
Jay-Z Bailey right now. Look at the look in his eyes. He can smell it. He can smell a win this afternoon in Dover, Delaware. Uh-oh. Jay-Z Bailey goes for the other. Oh, he's, he's, got the he's got the Asiatic spike. He's got the Asiatic spike. He's got the thumb. And he's got it locked in, Eric. Right in the center of that ring, but Bailey looks like he's trying to get over to those ropes. He's cutting off the oxygen. He's cutting off the oxygen. He's asphyxiating him with that thumb. Oh! And he's holding on. He holds on. Bailey again with the light tube. And he holds on. He continues to hold on, John. He continues to hold on, John. Like a pit bull and a puppy. He's not going to let go. He's got it locked in. There are no ropes now, Eric. He's got it locked in the center of that ring. And he's got the legs wrapped around him. Bailey in a lot of trouble right now. One more and done. One and done. And that's it. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, the Necro Butcher. What a matchup, John. What a matchup. A tremendous victory for the Butcher, Eric. But is he really the winner? Take a good look at both of them. The Butcher and J.C. Bailey both a bloody mess. You know what, John? Before today, I thought only two good things ever came out of Kentucky. Abraham Lincoln and fried chicken. But I'd have to put the Necro Butcher and J.C. Bailey up there with those two as well. I don't think you can put them up there with the Kentucky fried chicken, Eric. Come on. What about Abe Lincoln? You're pushing it. Wait a minute, there comes Zandig. Maybe Zandig's gonna end this thing with CZW and the IWA once and for all and end it the hard way. Uh oh, what's he gonna say, Eric? You know, tell us what he's gonna say. What about my mind you this thing what about you mind? I see you idiot. What are you talking Don't about? Don't you do your homework what anymore? What am I, a psychic? I know what this guy's gonna say. There's nothing more than the boss that the boss loves than a good hardcore matchup. I'll tell you that. Attention, give it up for IWA! Excuse me! I never thought I'd hear those words. But they are appropriate. They are appropriate. He's not as happy and jovial as we're used to seeing him. Well, he did take a beat down at John with at the hands of John Zandig in that exploded cane. And look at that. He's, up, he's holding the ring ropes up before him. Oh, he's showing him a little bit of respect, Eric. What am I in the twilight zone? He might hit him again. Everybody knows that this is CZW country. I gotta be honest with you, I gotta be honest with everybody. I'm not happy about everything that's happened here this summer. Be honest with you, I've never liked any of these fucking guys. The way I look at that shit down there in Kentucky, I used to call it hack and slash. That means they can't fucking wrestle, all they do is cut their fucking head off. But one thing I've learned here, I'll tell you, there's a lot more talent in IWA than I gave them credit for. I gotta be honest about that. He didn't see anything else, Eric. Eric. I'm a bad motherfucker after that fucking fuck. Fuck that.
I still don't like him, John. I respect him, but I don't like him. Hey, Billy, you was right there with it. Give it up for him, too, because I ain't taking that fucking suplex. It's like the butcher's coughing blood in there, John. Now, Ian Rotten, I think you were out here running your mouth about four years ago when you came into CZW when I wouldn't give you a fucking a hello, goodbye, thanks, or suck my dick. You didn't fucking deserve one. That's the way I looked at it. He didn't even give him a chance, Eric. But I'll say this. Today was supposed to be about respect. And today, all these guys from IWA earned the respect of Zandy, including you, Ian Rotten. Thank you for one hell of a fucking summer. Amen to that, John. I never thought I'd see it, but I like it. Time in Japan, John. On that note, I'd like to say I'm not the undisputed king of hardcore. This man right here has been around a hell of a lot longer than I am, and he is the undisputed king. And you are right, I am the ultra violent fucking icon. But let me tell you something, John Zandy. In this ring, we got two guys that someday will take that fucking throne big time in J.C. Bailey and the Necro Butcher. Amen to that. Wait a minute, what's the Messiah? Yeah, the party's over, baby! Wait a minute! That was a plan! It was a plan! They're loose! Somebody let them loose! And the Messiah! Oh, over Ian Watton! Remember, Ian Rotten defeated the Messiah in that IWA King of the Death Matches tournament. Obviously, the deal was over. Cashmere working over JC Bell in the other corner. Messiah and Trent has to put in the boost to Ian Rotten, and now the champ is working over John Zandy. Obviously, whatever agreement that these men had expired today, John, because it's all over. And look at me, hatred, all over Zandy. Working over the boss. Working over John Zandy, Dewey Donovan putting the boost to the butcher. Those two, look at those scumbags. Oliver Bailey and Butcher, they just wrestled. Zandy and Ryan wrestled an exploding bar wire match, for God's sake. This is disgusting. Nate Hay just still working over John Zandy, slamming his head down right into that, right into that table on the outside. Hatred's got a two and a light tube matchup, not too far away, later this afternoon. Kashmir now punishing J.C. Bailey on Messiah putting the boost to Ian Rotten. This is disgusting, John. It's an absolute disgrace. Eric, this is what this is what we call a party, Eric. Oh, it's a party. They had a plan. Can we get some reinforcements out here? Over the back. Over the back. What a scumbag. 
And the Messiah calling for a microphone. All right, Eric, here we go. You're going to get the scope. You have one lousy job to fucking do. That's it, one job. That's it, one. So they did bring him here, didn't they? And you little married man and misfits couldn't get the shit done. They couldn't get the job done, and they were paying good money. We've been doing yourself, then, big shot. The money that we gave you here. Hey, you got it, right? Trent's got the money. But they paid him good, Eric. Look at that roll. AC. AC. Fuck both of you. Fuck John Zandig. This is High Five's fucking company. Oh, we've seen other people try and pull this stuck before and it get too far. See, Eric, it was a plan, Eric. And the reason why I couldn't tell you because you would have told everybody. This plan sucks, John. We get some reinforcements out here. I look at Cashmere working over the Necro Butcher. Pull on what's left of Necro Butcher. And look at the Messiah pounded away. They have no respect for Ian Ryan. Death Row Pusher, J.C. Belly, or John Zandig. Well, I'll tell you what, John Zandig already has a match signed with the Messiah. In a few weeks, non-sanctioned. No rules, Eric, and you can only see it live. They're turning the cameras off for that one, and you know what that means, John. It's not going to be pretty. That means the Messiah is going to give Zandig the beat down that Ian Ryan should have given him. You're not going to see it on tape. You're not going to see it live. Hey. Wait a minute, Ian Ryan's gonna try and fight back. The champs is a little bit too smart for him, Eric. The champ is a coward. He wasn't born and raised on a pig farm. The champ is a coward. Johnny, 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 get him. Get him, Johnny. This disgusts me. All right, Eric, the champ is coming back. Oh, shut up, because I'm sure he got a lot to say. How dare Robbie Moreno give him that microphone? Look at all this shit. Yeah, I'm looking at a big one, a big piece right now with a microphone. Eric, shut up. He's talking, Eric. This is when the ratings go up. Now that one thing's done, on to the second hand of business. Why don't you all just shut the fuck up? Yeah, shut up! Why don't you shut the fuck up? <laughs> to get the hell out of here. I can just make you guys go like that, huh? Jump, you motherfuckers, jump! Fuck, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Stop jumping, Hal. There's no competition! Wait a minute! That's Corporal Robinson! That's Corporal Robinson! They brought reinforcements! They brought reinforcements, John! They got a big reinforcement! Right behind them! And know what is he thinking he is? Oh, wait a minute! Yo, what is he doing in there? You don't want to trade punches with Corporal Robinson! Big super kick there by Corbin. Is this a match, Eric? It is now. Corp over the top rope. I guess I'm calling it a springboard for Scotto. Cyan now fighting back on the outside, Eric. He was blindsided by Kuma Robinson. Look at chair over the top. The Messiah already holds one victory over Corp Robinson as part of that IWA King of the Death Matches tournament they wrestled down there. Is his part revenge for that, I'm sure, John. There is the world title on the line. That's all right, John. It's, 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 he's got a crutch now. Yeah, and John, it should got, be. He got that crutch, Eric, and he's laying it in on Corbin Robinson on the outside of that ring. It should be interesting to point out, John, that there are weapons still available to these two wrestlers. The ring is filled with glass and other contraptions 
brought here to Dover, Delaware by our fans. Messiah now well on the way on the forehead of Corporal Robinson on the outside. He may have hurt his hand, Aaron. We got to get the medics out here. This kid may have hurt his hand. He may have. I mean, he has medical problems with that hand. He has a history of medical problems with that right hand. I'll tell you what, Corporal Robinson is one mean, nasty son of a bitch, John. He was telling me a story earlier tonight where he was 30 seconds away from dying. 30 seconds away from dying in a match with Ian Rotten. Oh! Down in the IWA Mid-South. He just busted that thing right over the head of the World Heavyweight Champion Messiah. He's a crazy son of a bitch. This Corporal Robinson. Stationed in Okinawa for six months, John. He was part of, a, part of an elite team of Marines during his tour of duty. During his term of service, Mess Messiah now issuing a beat down on the Corvo Robinson, taking his fingers and, and ripping apart that gas. All nine of them. On his forehead. Oh, you, you're making them, I'm, you're I'm making them case and finger jokes. It wasn't a joke. Jumps again. It wasn't a joke. I'm just calling it as I see it. Messiah sitting on a barbed wire ladder. Remember, make it front of his fingers. The champion right now in total control, Corvo Robinson. Sends him in, no reversal. And that ladder, that barbed wire. Corporal Robinson with a super. Uh -oh. He's holding him up there. A brain buster. And he held him up there and he let that blood rush to his brain before dropping him on his head. On top of all the glass and all the thumbtacks, John. And if you think this is sick, John, we still have a two to one light tube match ahead of us. The main event, Nick Gage, Nate Hager, Big Japan. This match championship will be on the line. Messiah now snaps him up, snaps him up, big snap suplex there by the champion. Corporal Robinson, he lives by the phrase, John, learn to fear what you don't understand and hate when you can't conquer, bitch. That is straight out of the words, of course, straight out of the mouth of Corporal Robinson. Corporal Robinson right about now has got to be wishing. He never entered this matchup and interjected himself in the business of the high five and the world heavyweight champion Messiah. Don't ever question the heart of a Marine, John. Don't ever question the heart of a Marine. Uh-oh, Messiah's now on that top turn buckle. Got that front wire ladder! And he made a sandwich. He slashed him off through. the top rope with that steel ladder wrapped in barbed wire. I look at the Messiah, look at the back of the Messiah. Goes for a cover, hook, hooks that leg, he only got a two count. The Messiah is a former Iron Man champion here in Combat Zone Wrestling, John. So he is very familiar with the ultra violence of Combat Zone Wrestling. Uh-oh, he's telegraphing him with that cookie sheet. He has had some pretty sick and violent matches with sick Nick Mondo over the course of his CZW career, John. Remember the one during the Tournament of Death back in 2002? Corporal Robinson right now is in a lot of trouble. Hell yeah, I remember that. But right now the champ is working over Corporal Robinson, who is a bloody mess. A headbutt for the champ. The headbutt seems to be the move of the afternoon here today. Big kick right to the forehead there by, by the Messiah. Oh, look, at his, look at his eyes, John. He's not even phased. He just got the look of evil with his eyes. And what a champion he is, Eric. Look, he's out there defending his championship and didn't even know who his opponent was. Oh, he's got him. He's got him set up for the boot camp. I think he's going to take the Messiah to boot camp. Uh-oh. Messiah. Time for the God smack. He caught him with that God smack. There was Messiah needs to now crawl over there and go for a cover. Hook the trunks or something. We mean or something. He's at the leg. Kick out by Corporal Robinson. Corporal Robinson fighting for everything that we saw just a few minutes ago. Fighting for both Zanuck and Ian Rotten, John. He's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. And how about the Messiah? Eric is getting a beat down. He's got high five style. How about the Messiah? If he comes up short. Messiah looks like he's going to go for another one of those God smacks, though. Corporal Robinson oh, with the boot camp. The boot camp. Make the cover, Corp. Make the cover. Look at you. You were calling Corporal Robinson a bastard a couple of weeks ago. It's about respect. It's about respect, John. He got a two count, Eric. The I champion kicked out. 
I mean out of like the fact that he came in here and held our company hostage, but I respect everything that he has sacrificed, everything that he's put his body through over the last several weeks here during the summer in Combat Zone Wrestling. How can you not, John? What about everything the champion sacrificed? Oh, yeah. All the blood that he oh, yeah. He was, he, right. he was assaulted so bad, he was on right, America's man, Most Wanted. And he fought back from it all. And he became the world champion and has defended that title against everyone who stepped in his way. Right on top of that light tube, Messiah with almost a version of Carlito's way. Look at the champion. He's got he's got broken glass all on his back. Boo hoo. He didn't ask for this matchup. Oh, he sure did, John. Believe me. He sure did. He came out here and stuck his nose where it didn't belong. Hugo Robinson stuck his nose where it didn't belong when he snuck up behind the Messiah. And now he's getting a beat down for it. I'll tell you what, John, Corporal Robinson will do as he pleases and say as he pleases. John, Corporal Robinson came in here. He was a reinforcement that he had rotten brought to Dover with him today. Uh-oh. Oh, he just wrapped that chair right around the back of the Messiah. Oh, he would have suplexed him right under that concrete. That's just asphalt out there, John. There's no give on that asphalt. Here comes Cork. Oh, here they come. Here comes Corporal Robinson. And Eric Corporal Robinson's a bloody mess. He's not here to fool around, John. He's not playing games. He's got to stay on top of Messiah if he wants to be the CZW World Heavyweight Champion. Corporal Robinson making his way to the locker room. I don't know what for. Oh, he's got four steel chairs. Corporal Robinson, almost like a rescue mission, coming in here and defending the honor of the Rotten, the RWA Mid-South, and even CZW. Now we keep setting up those steel chairs on the outside. And the Messiah with a big boot to the midsection. Messiah now battling back, kicking Corporal right in the chest, knocking him down. This is Shades of Tournament Death number one. We have the White Feeder and Necro Butcher up here, John. Messiah now setting up those chairs on the outside. Oh, no, no, right no. underneath our little stage area. Look at the bodies of both men. They both look like they've just been through the Tournament of Death. Way to keep order there, Keener. A big boot. I mean, come on, Eric. Messiah didn't ask for this fight, but he's going to finish it. We'll see about that, John. As I said earlier, don't ever question the heart of a Marine. Messiah still setting up those chairs. He grabbed more steel chairs, Eric. Corporal Robinson grabbed four, and Messiah grabbed about eight. Uh-oh. Oh, they've got light tubes, John. They can come this way. Uh-oh. They can come this way. Here we go. That light could hit us, John. Hey, John, why don't you move a little, uh, John, why don't you move a little closer and get a closer view for me? Oh, Corporal Robinson fighting back. Big right hand there under the champ. He just threw him right up onto the stage area. They're about a foot away from us. Both men are a bloody mess. Corporal Robinson all over the scene. They don't world uh -oh. champion. Big four on there by Corporal Robinson. Staggers the champ. Two, uh -oh. Oh. The boot oh. The boot cow. The boot oh. cow is fighting back. Big right hands by the champion. It went for the boot camp. Uh oh, here we go. Messiah now with a pass. Someone call 911! Someone call 911! Someone call 911! And it's over! He won the match! He won the match! And still the winner! And still CZW World Heavyweight Champion, the Messiah! And still the World Heavyweight Champion, the Messiah! What an effort! Out of Corporal Robinson. And what an effort out of the Messiah. I'll give the devil his due. After being blindsided, Eric, being blindsided by Corporal Robinson, the Messiah gave him a beat down and hung on to the CCW World Heavyweight Championship. We have two fans for the weapons matchups here today in Dover, John. And the champ is in the ring, John. He may not be finished. The champ may want more. And it's Corporal Robinson is taking a lot more than that, John. And that's the f***ing way
the other day. And the Messiah with some final word for Corporal Robinson. He's still the champion, baby! Still the champion! He's still the champion, baby! I'll tell you what, John. Who's gonna beat him, Eric? In two weeks! Who can beat the Messiah? In two weeks, Eric Foss is gonna have his shot as the world champion. It's not about a title. It's about respect. We're not talking about respect. It is about payback. No cameras, John. The cameras will be off. It is going to be a sick, sick match. No rules. Yeah, you you Reverse. Oh! Oh! Reverse. Oh! Oh! Buckle. He may be setting up that board style jam. Oh! oh no! Got that broad wire ladder! And he made a sandwich! Messiah now! With a bam! Someone call 911! Messiah now! What a Introducing first, he hails from Salt Lake City, Utah, and weighs in at 230 pounds. He is the future of hardcore, Nick Gage. And there he is, John, 200 light tube. This isn't the first time that he's walking into a 200 light tube matchup, John. And Eric, this is what it's coming down to. The hatred between Nick Gage and made hatred. 
After Nate Hedges Kyle drives him off of the stage area, 25 feet in the air at the CZW Arena, when he won the Deathmatch Championship. It's come down to 200 light tubes of death here in Dover, Delaware. This is like a reward for these two, John. They love this. They love taking, taking their match inside of 200 light tubes. This is a reward for these two. Uh-oh. He's already getting himself acclimated with the light tube. I'll tell you what, John. He's getting warmed up, Eric, and he needs to get warmed up because about to make his way to the ring, the monster from hell, the son of Satan, and the big Japan Deathmatch champion, Nate Hatred. John, this is the kind of matchup where you can not only risk permanent injury, you can literally risk death with a match like this. I'll tell you what, Satan already has the presidential suite ready for the loser of this matchup. I'll tell you what, John, once word reached Japan that Nate Hatred was now holding the Big Japan Deathmatch Championship, people started locking their doors at night, little kids started looking under their beds at night, people were hiding in their closets, they were afraid this guy's going to go back to Japan, that is how feared he is, look at that man, that man is evil, pure, unadulterated evil, they're having nightmares in the land of the rising sun, Eric, heaven didn't want him, and hell was afraid, he take over, so they sent him here to CCW, and Nick Jane is standing in his way in the path of destruction. Like I said, John, they already got a sweet reserve for him down under. Made hatred. Goes into the diabolical contraption for the second time in his career, John. Both wrestlers have wrestled in two and only two matches that they said it couldn't be done one and two. Nick Gage with a win over the white beater in June of 2000. And back here in Smyrna, Delaware, Nate Hatred with an L against the white beater. Remember that matchup, John. Nate Hatred was temporarily blinded in one eye between the blood and the glass. It lodged into his eyes. He almost lost his eyesight permanently in that matchup. But that was then, and this is now, Eric, the hatred that runs through the veins of Nick Gage and Nate Hatred for each other. And the Big Japan Deathmatch Championship is on the line. Nick Gage, three and one over Nate Hatred. But what matters more than anything else is what happened last time. And the last match was a win by Nate Hatred. What will, will momentum be in his favor tonight in Dover, Delaware? Look at the look on their faces, John. Look you know, at them. You know, there's one thing we can expect. A lot of blood to be spilled, and every single one of those light tubes will be busted in this matchup. Nick Gage and Nate Hatred with a collar and elbow tie-up. Nate Hatred has to be the more powerful of the two, but Nick Gage pulling the hair of Nate Hatred. Uh oh, they're not gonna win. Oh, he's gonna win. He's gonna win. Oh, he's gonna gonna nail Dewey. Look at Dewey. He's got the rubber gloves on. What did Dewey Donovan do for for Nick Gage to put his hands on him? Oh, he's got him up. Rolling elbow. He's the man. Rolling elbow for the former world heavyweight champion. And he caught him with it, Eric. He caught the monster from hell. He may have blinded him already early on in this matchup. He's now moving like a pinata, John. Oh! Oops. Nick Gage picks him up again. Oh! Clean up at all five. And make no mistake about it, Nick Gage wants to punish Nate Hatred. This is nothing more than but a beautiful burden for these two, John. They're having a party out there. Nick Gage may have busted 20, 25 light tubes already. Over Nate Hatred. With a right hand by Nick Gage, snap mare. I mean, Nick Gage came into this matchup with a plan, Eric, and he has got to stay on top of Nate Hatred. He has to be the aggressor. Not only has Nick Gage won a Toronto White Tube matchup in which Nate Hatred lost, John, it has to play into the psyche of Nate Hatred that he was temporarily blinded in his last Toronto White Tube outing. No matter how tough you are, you can't forget something like that. A cannonball said Todd. Eric, Nate Hatred don't care about victories. He don't care about championships. He's about leaving his opponent a bloody mess laying in the center of that ring. Nick, 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 
But again, John, he was temporarily blinded the last time. That has to play inside of the head of Nate Hatred. Nate Hatcher may already be blinded with that big roaring elbow by Nick Cage at, at the beginning of this matchup, Eric, when he drove that light tube right into the face of the monster Nate Hatred. Nick Cage picking him up. Slap suplex. Stop. Snap suplex right on that broken glass. John, who would have thought that it would ever come to this between the hate club? Two guys that dominated combat zone wrestling for a long time, and it has come down to this. They were the most dominating team of all time in CZW, but Nick Gage got jealous of Nate Hatred. He couldn't take it anymore that Nate Hatred was carrying the hate club. I won't comment on your ignorance and stupidity, John, but how about it? Nobody could split them apart, John. It was only themselves that would beat each other. Nate yep. Hatcher now sitting in that corner, and Nick Gage setting up those, but uh-oh. This is not good for Nate Hatcher. Oh. Nate Hatcher, out of the park. Oh, man. And he caught him with it. He caught him with it with about five, six, seven light tubes right across the face of Nick Gage. There's about 150 more of them set up, John. Nick Gage down on that canvas of broken glass. John, there's such a diabolic contraption. The 200 light tube matchup. There's nothing pure whatsoever about this matchup. Nate Hatcher grabbing those light tubes now. He's going to be busting them over Nick Gage, returning that favor from earlier. He sure is. He's cashing it on a receipt, John. There's glass all over that canvas. Why don't you go up there and interview him now? Nate Hatcher got blood pumping out of his back, Eric. And he's licking that light oh, tube. What an animal. He's a monster. What a maniac. Nate Hatcher now grabbing more light tubes. Uh-oh. Bam! Oh, face, Johnny. Look, he looks happy. He looks like a pit bull on a puppy farm right now. Nate Hatcher taking it to Nick Gage. I think Nate Hatcher wants to punish Mick Nick Gage more than he wants to defeat Nick Gage in this matchup because Nate Hatcher don't care about championship belts. Well, John, that could be said about both wrestlers. They want to punish each other. They want to make sure when they walk back there, they are known as the man. Not the man, but lost to Nate Hatred or Nick Gage. Nick, Nate Hatred now stomping away on Nick Gage in that corner. The monster set up those light tubes in that opposite corner over there on the side. He's ripping Nick Cage right in. Ow! They fouled him right up with a, de a decapitator. And John, another another factor that should be brought up as part of this matchup. It's been a long oh! time. It's been a long time since Nate Hatred has been in a death match, John. It's been a long time. Nick Cage was in the tournament of death as well as the IWA Mid-South King of the Death Matches tournament. It's been a long time since Nate Hatred has been in a match like this. You count there right after that big belly to belly by Nate Hatred on the Nick Cage. Nick Cage kicks out. Nate Hatred with that light tube. Just breaks it over Nick Gage. Right now, the longer this match goes, the more of a tolerance they will be building up to these light tubes, John. Nate Hatred, I'll tell you what, John, you want to throw your kid in a cellar with a bunch of rats and starve them to death? That is the kind of kid that you'll have will grow up like Nate Hatred. Rats? Not those kind of rats, you idiot. Get your mind out of the gutter. Unbelievable. I wish I was thrown in a cellar with a bunch of rats. You know something? Stick to the back, Nick please. Gage right now in a lot of trouble. He's being stalked now by Nate Hatred. Shoots him in. Uh oh to Sky High Choke Slam. And he planted him with it. Look at the look on Nate Hatred's face. He's smiling. He's barely even broken a sweat, John. He got a two and a half. Still not enough. What is it going to take to end this matchup? What do they have to do to each other? They get a three count. Look at Nate Hatred breaking the white tube with his own fist. There are two men that just don't really care about it. He, themselves. If I didn't see it myself. Let alone their opponents. If I didn't see it for myself, I would believe that no blood runs through those veins because he is a cold-hearted son of a bitch. Nick Gate is now gushing blood out of the back of his head. And Nick Cage has been in this environment before. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, should I pour it? Pour it, salt into the wound. Stop. Pour it, salt into his forehead. Nate Hatred climbs out of the ring. So far, John, the high five has been one and one tonight here in Dover, Delaware. 
One and one, what are you talking about, Eric? I'm talking about the fact that they didn't win the tag team title match. But they are still the champion. They didn't win it. They didn't win it. I'll count that as a loss. They hate for climbing through, John. Nick Gage is a bloody mess, Eric. He is a bloody mess. And these bloodthirsty maniacs on their feet here in Dover, Delaware, John. Nate Hatcher wrapping that chair right around the back of Nick Gage. Now he's setting up those light tubes. It doesn't get any more uh -oh. violent than this, John. Uh-oh. Ow! Look at that chair. You got to give it to Mike Keener. At least you have to come out there like Brian Logan with one of those body condoms on. Mike Keener has no idea what he got himself into. I don't think so either. I don't think he's ever officiated a match like this. I would. A 200 I would like concur. death match. I would concur. Nick Gage, the first ever world heavyweight champion. He's in a lot of trouble. One of the first four graduates of the CBW Western Academy. Nate Hager setting up those chairs. Now he's. Setting light tubes up across those chairs in the center of that ring. Nate Hager, the former Iron Man champion himself, and a current Big Japan Deathmatch champion, courtesy of a win a few weeks ago over Nick Gage in a tables matchup. But Eric, look at Nick Gage. He's, he's bleeding out of his forehead. The back of his head is it's, it's just pumping out. Look at me, Hager. Look at a construction worker in there building a house. Uh-oh. Going for a snap suplex. Nick Gage Nick blocked. Gage. Gage, look at Gornbuster, oh Gornbuster, right across those chairs and right through those light tubes. Nick Gage on the light tube, over to Nate Hatred. As much as Nate Hatred knows what it's like to be on a 200 light tube matchup, John, Nick Gage knows what it's like to win one. That gives him the edge. Nick Gage throwing light tubes now at Nate Hatred. Just throwing them at him. And Gage picking it up. Uh-oh. Nick Gage setting up tubes of his own across those chairs. Look at this, John. Nate Hatred still getting up. And another chair to the back of Nate Hatred. Uh-oh. He's got to be kidding me. Are you kidding me, John? This is ridiculous. And look. Nate Hatred still getting up. Trying to get up. Both men a bloody mess. Nate Hatred looking at Nick Gage. Nick Gage with a bloody head. What a slam. Right on that canvas of broken glass. Nick Gage now grabbing more light tubes. Got about three of them in there, John. What about 185 broken ones. Uh-oh. Gage hits the roof. What an elbow drop. He planted that elbow right into the chest of Nate Hatred. John, this is like two of the baddest bullies on the block going at it on a street corner. Uh-oh. The hardcore drop out of the Gage. Eric, there must be an inch and a half, two inches of glass covering that canvas. The former world heavyweight champion looks like he's going for the frog splash. He's feeling froggy. He's just how he's defeated the white beater. If you're feeling froggy, jump. Back in they said it couldn't be done, but Nick Gage didn't follow through and go for a cover. Well, he saw more light tubes, John. Uh -oh. Wait a minute, what's Trey Axis doing in there? He wants no part of this. Uh oh. He wants no part of this. Yakuza yeah. kick. Yakuza kick. What is he out of his mind? He wants no part of this. And then anything goes, so there's nothing hey, that Mike Gage can do about it. Makes me sick, you sons of bitches. Did you hear that, Eric? And still the Big Japan Deathmatch Champion. It's a tainted win. From hell. It's a tainted win. And look at Cashmere, putting the mouth on Gage uh -oh. like he can back it up. Are they attacking our security guards? What is wrong with these people? Uh-oh. Somebody better get out of here and do something. I'm not calling 911, Eric. He's on his own here. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Nick Gage is on his own. 
and Nate Hatred is still the Big Japan Deathmatch Champion. Uh-oh. I love the way John. The Super Team gimmick. The Super yeah. Team gimmick. Who do they think they are? Who's on top now, Eric? The high do they think they are? They gave a beat down to Nick Gage and John Zandig. Leave him alone. He's a security. He's a family man. For he God's sake. That's his problem. He should be home with his family if he's a family man. He's got a family to support. That's his problem. Leave him alone. He's in the wrong place at the wrong time. My goodness. The beating up security guards. I wouldn't they do it in Nick Gage. They're stretching them, Eric. This is wrong, John. The shades of stretched in Smyrna. Uh oh. Remember, I had to They're gonna hang hour. them. They're gonna hang them. Are you telling me the good? Yeah, what is Nick Gage? This is his plan. With Nick Gage out of the question, John Zanding has no one to help him. Absolutely no one. Are we gonna see a lynching? I can't find anyone. Who can say anything nice about John Zandy? I'll say a lot of things nice about him. Well, you're the only one. You just found me. He needs help, John. He needs help badly. Nick Gage needs help badly. They got plans for Nick Gage. This, this is like a prison riot in here. It's like a San Quentin riot, John. Uh-oh. I look at Heath with a big smile on his face. Nick Gage now getting crucified, Eric. They're going to crucify him. They're going to crucify him, Gargulo. He needs help, John. He's going to end his career. He needs help in a bad way. This is ridiculous already. Somebody better get out of here and do something. The inmates are running the asylum here in Dover, Delaware. This is ridiculous, John. They stretched him, Eric. Why? He's hog-tied. What did he ever do? He's almost hog-tied. What did he do to deserve this? He did a lot of things, Eric. What did he ever do to deserve this? Leave him alone, you son of a bitch. He's getting a beat down. That's what he did. He allied himself with John Zanding, who is considered the enemy of the high five. They're all getting free shots. Messiah winding up. Uh-oh. Messiah's winding up. This is for all the time. Bam! Nick Gay's trying to steal. He's pointing you. He's pointing to you. I son of a bitch. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Hell yeah, I like it. Hit him again. Hit him again. How dare he get me involved in uh -oh. Here comes the boss. Who comes out of the way? Hit him up. Get him out of the way, butcher. Jeez, <laughs> they barely. They got reinforcements, all right. Where are you going? 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 Where are the hell with their beatdown? John Zandig and Nick Gaines took a beatdown tonight at the hands of the high five. The hell with their beatdown? Oh, you're going to get a beatdown. What's Zandig doing? Oh, wait a minute. He was the one. He was the one. He was the thing. He was the one tightening up that rope. And I'll tell you what, John. In a few weeks. John Zanzig going to be ashamed of himself, putting his hands on security. He is a family man, Eric. In a few He's weeks. Got a family to feed. In a few weeks in Viking Hall, John, the Messiah has a date with the boss. <laughs> He's got a date with the boss, John. I think the boss is going to get He's lucky. He's redefined, <laughs> Eric. Unsanctioned. No rules. It will not be seen on Thank You TV. It won't be seen anywhere. The cameras are going to be off.
Young Yo get a win. The house, the world champion, the tag team champions, the Big Japan Deathmatch champions. Oh, look at the best. He's calling him out. He's calling him out. Careful what you ask for, Zandy, because you just might get it. They just moved him. Oh, they moved him. They just moved him. Uh oh. How classless. Hatred's not around, is he? I don't know. You better be careful, Eric, because he all out you. And look at the look on Nick Gage's face. Look at He's a beaten man. John Zandy's a beaten man. AJ, we got an AC, I gotta I go! I, I gotta, gotta go! go. I don't wanna be there. Get him, boy! Uh-oh, John zandy has got the Big Japan Deathmatch Championship belt! It's not about a title, John. I gotta go, Eric! We gotta ride! Well, get out of here! We gotta we ride, ride AC! Who's stuck? I'm out of here! here. We'll see you next time on CCW! On CCW Home Video! on him. No matter how tough 
up you are. You can't forget something like that. I can't. Oh! Oh! Be hatred out of the pot! Oh, Corner over there on the side, he's whipping the cage right in! Ow! And fouled him! For a snap suplex. Nick Lock Cage. Nick blocks. Cage. Cage. Look at Gordon Buster. Uh oh. Say the suplex. Even I have to admit I'm wrong. John Zandig, when it comes to hardcore, you're in the upper echelon. John Zandig, tonight, you're the better man. And this might be the last time in your fed we face each other. This is an open invitation. Someday, sometime, we will meet again.